our seminary is under the mantle and patronage of Mary, help of Christians. And for the rest of your life, whether you proceed to the priesthood or stay faithful as a layman, you will always carry the mark that you were formed under the shadow of Mary, the helper. Mary, the helper of Christians. For us who have proceeded to theology, you know that the title helper is one of the oldest titles of the Blessed Virgin Mary. The first dogmatic title is Mary, Mother of God. But Mary, the helper, has been the title invoked by many disciples of the Lord for almost 2,000 years now. That you carry the mark of Mary, help of Christians, in your formation, in your education, carries with it challenges. The first challenge, my dear seminarians, is you must never forget your need to be helped. Your need for help. You can get a degree, pursue another degree, you can be assigned, move to another assignment, you can have a job and move to the next job. If you don't pursue the priesthood, you marry, you have a family, you work, you gain money. But never forget that we are all in need of help. Because when you always remember that you are a man always in need, that will keep your feet flat on the ground. It will protect you from pride. It will protect you from self-conceit. It will protect you from self-worship. It will protect you from self-adoration. No matter how old you may be, no matter how powerful, how rich you may be, you must never forget your need to be helped. The second challenge of Mary, help of Christians, is that we are called to imitate her. And therefore, as important as your need to be helped, is also the mission to be a helper. That you cannot always be on the receiving end. You were formed, you were educated, so that you can make this world a better place. You have the capacity to help others. You have the capacity to help by teaching. You have the capacity to help by serving. You have the capacity to help by praying. You have the capacity to help by leading others to God. While the first one is a privilege, the second one is a responsibility. Your need to be helped, you will be helped by many. But the mission to help others, it is a responsibility that God will ask from us at the sunset of our lives. The need to be helped will keep you humble. The mission to help will keep you listening to that inner voice of the Lord Jesus, who is our real helper. But if you substitute help for love, and you say that I show my love by helping, you are loving by being helpful, then you can paraphrase Gabriel Marcel, a philosopher you met in your seminary, who said, to say to somebody, I love you, is to say to that person, you will not die. To love somebody is to say to that person, you will never die. 
Is it true that when we help, the loved one will never die? You must understand that our helping always has a purpose. Our helping is not to make us feel good that we are helping. Our helping is not to make them feel good that they are helped. Our helping has a purpose. And the purpose of Mary Health of Christians is not for you to receive a diploma. The purpose of Mary Health of Christians is not for you to receive a medallion. The purpose of Mary Health of Christians is to lead you to life everlasting. Mary Health of Christians loves you. And because Mary Health of Christians loves you, Mary Health of Christians will not allow you to die because she will lead you to life everlasting. In other words, my dear seminarians, remember, we did not form you just for graduation. We did not form you just for preparation for the future. We are not even just forming you to become priests. We are preparing you for something greater than the priesthood. And what is that? Life everlasting. Life everlasting such that when your life on earth is over, whether as a priest or as a layman, you will see heaven. You will hear the voice of God saying, Welcome, good and faithful son of Mary, help of Christians. See your mother waiting for you. On your graduation day, my dear seminarians, remember three lessons. You will always be in need of help. Never be boastful. Do not allow your education to bloat your head or expand your ego. But this seminary has also commissioned you to become a helper in the world in the footsteps of Mary, the helper. But keep in mind that the greatest help, the greatest target, the best focus in helping others is that I help you, I love you, I don't like you to die. I help you so that you may have life everlasting. My dear graduates, Take heart. You have been greatly helped more than other men dream to be helped. Do not take the blessings for granted. You might think that the grass is always greener outside the seminary. You might think that the life is always better outside the seminary. I really don't know. I only know one thing. The good life is not found inside or outside the fence of the seminary. The good life is found where God is. Where God is. That is where the green pasture is. Where God is. It is not the fence of the seminary that makes that makes things look better or brighter. It is God. So, instead of dreaming outside the seminary, instead of dreaming to proceed to other seminaries, the question to ask is, God, where are you? And I want to follow you.